Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a brand new Saturday. I'm feeling awesome today and I'm so excited for today's video because we have an awesome one planned. If you read the title, we got a lot going on today. We got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of new stuff and I'm so ready for it. But before we get in today's video, I just wanna stop for a second and tell you guys thank you so much for all of the love and support that you showed on the last video. I was absolutely blown away by the response from you guys. It's such a special feeling getting to know you guys and interact with you guys. It is absolutely awesome. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put a card like right there so you can go watch it as soon as you're done with this one. Don't stop this one to go watch that one, unless you want to. I can't really control what you do. Do what you wanna do. Either way, like and subscribe <laughs> if you wanna do that. So just thank you guys so much for your support. I'm so appreciative, love you. So first things first, I've got some base colors thrown down on this canvas right here, and it is just itching for some line work, some more details, and just full on completion. So we're gonna get into that right now. Perfect. So the painting is finally finished. I love the colors and the patterns. Absolutely so stoked on it. And this is actually a super special painting because one of you guys are actually going to get to pick it up today. And we won't know who because today I'm starting a thing where each month I'm going to take a canvas, do some of my art on it, and then we're going to take it to a random place and we're going to drop it there. I'm going to post it on my socials and whoever comes and gets it, wins it. I'm super stoked about it. I enjoy doing it and I'm ex so excited to see who wins it. It's just a way for me to give back to you and say thank you. And plus it's pretty, I feel like it's a pretty fun thing for you to be able to, to go and find it kind of on a whim. So before we do anything else, let's go get this free yard drop underway. Okay guys, so I drove around for a good bit and I think I finally found the perfect spot. So let's go drop some free art. Boom, there it is. First free art drop of 2024 is now live. And I'm so stoked about it. Gonna announce it on the socials now. And let's see who gets it. All right guys, so this month's free art drop is now complete. It's actually super busy in downtown today. So that is a huge plus. For the first one, I tried to keep it as simple as I could for everybody, just because I want the first one to be kind of easy. And we'll probably get harder as it goes on. Hopefully someone will find it super soon. Alright guys, so made it home and I'm already so excited for the, the future random art drops. Next up on the list for today, I'm going to be throwing a clear coat 
on these shoes to surprise my buddy Alden with. So I rediscovered a pair of shoes the other day that Alden had actually given me over a year ago to paint. He gave them to me. He was like, if you're feeling inspired, you want to create, just have fun with them. And I was like, of course, I'll take those. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't really have a lot of time to create or do art. Again, luckily, I found them the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I should definitely do these and surprise him with them. Come to find out, he's going to be super surprised with them because he completely forgot that he gave them to me. I met up with him the other day and he was like, hey, I have these shoes that I need to give you. I want some custom sneakers, but I have some shoes that me and Lauren tried to customize a while back. I'll give them to you and let you paint them. But again, he didn't know that he had already given them to me and I had already been working on them the entire week in order to surprise him with them. So we are meeting up with him today and I'm surprising him with these shoes. And I think they're actually his girlfriend's size. So it may be more of a surprise for her, but I think he'll be surprised. I had them in my possession the whole time. <laughs> so this is what the shoes look like. I'm absolutely in love with the colors and with the white, like minimalistic designs. They are definitely super fresh. I'm going to throw a clear coat on these bad boys, seal them up, get them all nice and shiny and clean. And in the next clip, me and Izzy will be headed to surprise him and his girlfriend with the shoes. <laughs> There you go. Oh my god! <laughs> I think she liked it. Izzy said she would like them. So. That's crazy! <laughs> you did this? So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I think she likes them, so that's oh, all that matters. Fire. Yes, thank you so much! You are very welcome. What is going on, guys? So, I'm sorry yesterday's clip of the big shoe reveal kind of got cut short. Hey, Editor Jonah here, taking a quick pause because this dumb dumb, aka me, literally would not stop yapping. Long story short, I didn't record enough of the shoe reveal because I honestly just forgot to record more of it. Shut up. We were also on a bit of a time crunch since Lauren had to be at work in like 30 minutes, but regardless, it was an awesome moment and it's always a treat getting to see them. They love the shoes, much love to Lauren and Alden, and back to the video. Another thing is today is actually Monday. Uh, Izzy and I got busy yesterday planning out our trip for Hangout Fest, which I'm so stoked on. So we got busy planning out that trip and finalizing all of the details. And we had a time change, which threw us for quite the loop. So we lost an hour, but also like gained an hour of daylight. So the sun doesn't set until like seven o'clock now. Yesterday it was also pretty chilly out. So not the best weather for spray painting, but regardless, it's a beautiful day today. And I'm so stoked for today's project. So so recently I had a good friend of Izzy and I's reach out to me. Her name's Anna and she wanted to do a custom bat for her boyfriend who loves to play softball. And I've never done it before, but of course I was willing to take on the challenge. So based off what she's told me, he's played baseball since he was really young and has always loved the sport. And I myself am a baseball fan and I've played baseball since I was young as well. So it makes me even more excited to be able to collaborate with her on this project for Clay. So I've already got the bat all primed up and ready to go. It is fully ready for some base colors. And today we're gonna to be using the dang spray paint that you got to see in the last video. Let's jump into some base colors.
Yes, the base colors are finally done on the baseball bat. I'm so stoked with how they came out. You can really see it in the sun, how bright the colors are. Just went for kind of an abstract background because I'm gonna go back later and add some details and write Clay's name in graffiti on top of the bat. That's what Anna wanted to do for him and I love that idea. But for right now, we're gonna let this bad boy get some sun time in. The next time I see you, we'll be throwing some details on it. Guys, so the baseball bat is finally complete and I am so absolutely stoked on it. But before we get into that, I know that you guys are probably wondering, Jonah, that wasn't really much of a process video. And you're right. So it turns out baseball bats are extremely hard to like hand paint and draw on because it is such a wonky shape. The taper makes it off balance and not level. Obviously, since it's round shape, it also rolls and it's just an overall headache when it comes to getting that super crisp, nice line work. It is just so difficult to do it on there. It was definitely a learning curve and challenging at times. That's part of what I love about commissions is you never know what people are gonna throw at you. And it's absolutely so cool to have them throw something random at you, kind of like a baseball bat, which I've never done before. So I really wasn't worried about filming. I was just really worried about taking my time and making sure the bat turned out just how Anna wanted it to be for Ian. So I just shot some pictures of the bat over to Anna and she absolutely loves it. She said it turned out even better than she ever could have imagined. And that makes my heart so full and so happy. And I'm so glad that I got to do this project with her for Ian. But let's get into the bat. Here is the baseball bat. And you can see all of the quotes on it. Established in 1989, which is his, when his birthday is. And the full clay graffiti piece on the front. I think that it's super dope and thank you so much again to Anna for allowing me to be a part of this project. I hope you love it, Ian, and that you enjoy it and it should be to you very soon. Hopefully you don't see uh, the video or any of my Instagram posts or anything before you get it. Uh, I hope Anna keeps it a surprise and I don't think you follow me on Instagram, so just saying, I think you should do that. Hell no! And if any of you other guys are interested in commissioning me to do an artwork for you, all of my links will be in the description below where you can contact me. My Instagram DMs is probably the most dominant place that I 
check for messages and message people about projects. It's the social media that I'm most active on, that or Facebook. So you can just hit me in the DMs there. The links, again, are just down in the description. So let me know. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you have an amazing Saturday, an amazing weekend, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and find your escape. Bye.